can't kill myself. I just want to join you Monday to Friday. So I'll start off by forming my brows into place with my spoolie. Yes, so. So when I'm done, I'll outline my brows with my brow pencil. So this is the Davies eyeliner and lip liner pencil in number 18. Yes. So I'll just be outlining my brows with light strokes. I'm not drawing the lines. I'm not drawing one line. As you can see. I'm moving in gently with light strokes. Then I move over to the top. And I'm just something I need to do. And when I get to my eye, I just join the two tails together. Okay? Just like that. So, right now, I'm filling in the tail part of my brows with light strokes. Then now I'm filling this part of my brows with light, so lighter than the ones I used at the tail. So I want them natural. So now I blend them up. Blend. This way. Guys, you see that? Now we'll move over to the other eyes. Remember that line with light strokes. Remember the top part of the world. The nice stroke, guys. Now we're feeling the tail ends of our world. The light strokes. Don't feel this much. Remember, lighter strokes. Then we blend. So guys, you can see that brows. Try your best, try as much as possible to make them look alike. They're not supposed to be the same, but they should be able to look alike. Okay, so don't be, don't get mad at yourself. You can't get it. Remember, like I always say, practice makes perfect. Okay, so yeah. So with this, if you're not into concealers, you can actually go out like this. So you can actually go out like this if you're not trying to concealer, but for the purpose of this video will be concealing and I'll be concealing my bottom brows with my Ellie Girl Pro Conceal in Cool Tan. Then I'll be concealing the top part of my brows with my Fairy Gold Concealer slash foundation. It's actually the foundation. It looks like this. Yes. So let's get right into it.
So using my angle brush, I'll be dipping my angle brush into my concealer. And I'll be using that to clean out the bottom part of my brows. So clean out the bottom part of your brow. Most people like to start from here. But it gives it leaves a shade. It leaves a nasty shade on your brows and it makes it not so natural. So what I like to do is I like to start here. Okay. Just midway. And then work my way down. Cleaning your brows is just outlining your brows again so there's no big deal okay then once I'm satisfied yeah she's in light strokes too just like your brow so when I'm satisfied I just move down what's left on my brush to my eyelid like this then I go in with my blending brush for my brows and I try and blend that concealer out. So the trick here is why blending? Remember we didn't start using the concealer from here. So why blend you take the concealer towards that direction? Okay? In the process cleaning your brows over there and leaving it so 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 natural do you understand i really do do you guys see See that blend that concealer out. Yeah. See that? So I'll do the other eye off camera then when I come back we'll do the top of the brows. So guys, I'm back so you can see my brows are perfectly cleaned, you know, and you see this part of my eyes looks so natural it will look a little bit ashy you can still blend it out with your fingers by just tapping on it yes yeah so we'll go over to the top part of our brows and I mentioned before that we'll be using our foundation the fairy gold foundation slash concealer I'm using that to clean the top part of my brows the reason for that is because your concealers are way lighter than your skin tone even when you use your actual skin tone on the concealer it still leaves this ashy look on your face you know when you go out under the sun to take picture it leaves that ashy look but with your foundation it blends right into your skin because foundations are built to imitate your skin color to imitate your actual skin okay so that's all thing. Most people like going out this way without concealing their top brows. Yes, I like it too, but I've not grown that confident enough to do that. So, <laughs> but soon I'll start doing that. But you can see, even without concealing your top brows, like your brows are already on flick. So, I think the trick is actually mastering how to draw your brows. And they look so good without you concealing because that was where my focus was on when i was learning how to draw my brows how to do my brows and all that i focused more on you know being able to draw my brows without reaching out for concealer or a foundation to you know to conceal my mistakes or you know to shape my brows the way i would have loved them to be so it's challenged me in making my brows look this good okay yes i know you understand me so Let's get right into it. So I took one pump of my foundation and I'm working with it. So with my angle brush, same angle brush, I dipped it into my foundation and now I'm cleaning the top part of my brows. The same thing I did for the under part of my brows, I started here, is the same thing I'm going to do for the top. I'm going to start here. Then while blending, I bring it in just for that natural look that we're going for. Remember guys, Shut, shut. 
if you feel you have a lot of product on your on your brush you could just deposit them somewhere here and then pick up gently and work with it And when you're satisfied, you just spread out what's around your brows. Then with your blending brush, you blend it. Okay. So, okay, guys, if you look closely, you can see how ashy hair looks and how this split just went right as if it's my skin. Can you guys see? That's the magic you can do your brows. Remember, you bring what's left and use it to clean out the starting part of your brows. Guys, you see that? So I'll do the other part of camera, then I'll show you you know what to do when you're not going out with foundation and you know you're feeling like oh my concealer is gonna peep out oh everybody's gonna like use concealer i'll show you what to do so i'll be right back so guys i'm back at this point your brows are on fleek you know so you can go ahead and do your eyeshadow your eyeliner your foundation highlight and contour as you desire but if you just want your brows this way and you want to go out this way without anything all you need to do is just go in with your powder lightly this is my powder brush and this is my powder I'm using the Maybelline powder and this is in the shade nutmeg yes so I just go in my powder top out the excess and I place it right there where I place my concealer into my eyes Top of the excess, tap it right there under my concealer, then top of the excess, then place it where I place my foundation. Top of the excess, top of the excess, and when you're done, just take this little powder and just brush it all over your face. Yeah, guys, don't mind my lips. I just filmed a lip tutorial for my WhatsApp class. So if you're not in my WhatsApp class, what are you waiting for? Okay, what are you waiting for? I'll dust all the essence. And you're good to go. Yes, without looking our shape. Okay, so this ends my brow tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Brows on flake. I'll see you all in my next tutorial. Bye, guys.